Hey, what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713, hi and welcome in Crusader Kings 3 tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the army. Alright, so this is part number 2, I was trying to keep those tutorials as short as I can, but you know, there's a lot of things to talk about. And once again, one small reminder that you can quickly navigate through the whole video by using my first comment underneath this video where I have timestamps, so you can jump straight away to the interesting topic that you're searching for. Alright, so let's go back into the video. Alright, so our army is, as you can see, we got one, 1050, we have 100 bowmen, 100 coney, 5 champions and 845 levies. So now we can actually f choose somebody to attack. So how are you going to decide who you want to attack for? So first of all, of course, very important for us is how what title you want to gain. So once again, I want to remind you that I'm going to try to get the the title of Dutch of Mazovia, so the perfect me for me to attack some territory in here. But if I'm gonna right mouse click, you'll get information about the leader in here. So he got 1066 soldiers, so really equal to me, so it will be very hard for me to win with him. In here we have 888, so this is very promising. In Wenchitsa, lots of soldiers, 910 soldiers, all right. And in here we have also 1066. So not a very good situation for us, but so right now I think that I'm gonna attack Kuyave and I will show you how to prepare the battle. So first of all, you're gonna make sure that you're gonna all army ready in here. So everybody's on 100% and your qualities is elite. Then you're gonna create the rally point. If you don't have this point, you're gonna just destroy it. You're gonna go to military and in here you're gonna create a new rally point. So I'm gonna choose the rally point that is closest to the territory that I'm gonna attack. So you're gonna left mouse click to create this rally point. So you're not gonna recruit your army right now. I'm just gonna want to show you one more thing. I can delay this and take other point and just move it. Move rally point to a different position. So it's going to move in here, so now I have the green one, because first you're going to need to declare war. So I'm going to right mouse click on this territory, then I'm going to right mouse click on this guy, and I'm going to declare war. And then I'm going to choose from my options. So right now those options are not available for me, because I'm not, I don't have enough prestige, but luckily I have enough faith to attack the specific territory. So I'm going to change the objective. So yes, I'm going to try to attack and conquer Kuyave. So the thing is that you need to say what you are fighting for. So you have to be specific. You cannot conquer straight away the whole territory unless you are in the later phase of your game because you can just choose this option and choose just conquer everything. But at the start of your game, you're going to need to declare exactly territory that you want to conquer. So I'm going to declare that I want to conquer this territory because it's really close to my and it's gonna just increase the range of my territory. So next you see that the information about his army, 888. So it's similar, but in a, but he had only three champions, I have five, so it's much higher. So we're gonna declare war. The war is declared. Remember that we are on pause right now, and we're gonna go and click left mouse click on this rally point, and we're gonna recruit rise all army here. So we're gonna do this, and as you can see, our army is right in here. We're gonna left mouse click, and you can see that right now we have only 205 soldiers because they're still gathering. And after three days, they're gonna be in full strength. What more, you can right mouse click in here to create outliner, where you're gonna have information about your armies. So thanks to that, you can quickly select your army. So I'm gonna leave this outline because it's very helpful. So I'm gonna use my spacebar to quickly control the time, so I'm gonna press spacebar, we got two days, in one day, and now we got full army, okay. So now they are standing still and they are full. So now they are waiting to fight. And now, let's change also our commander. So right now we're gonna check if he is the best option for us. So we can change our commander by pressing here, as you can see we can fight ourselves, but Bear this in mind that you can die in the battle, so it is kind of risky if you are not a good fighter. And if I'm gonna left mouse click, you will see that I am actually a terrible fighter, so there is no point for me to fight in this battle. 
but luckily this guy he got 16 and 17 so he's really good champion for us we got also this guy that we just recruited he's flexible leader and he can make some fatal casualties plus 25 for the enemy armies and actually our guy have only supply duration plus 100 so this can be useful if we're gonna conquer bigger territories so I'm gonna choose this guy actually because he got those two additional traits that can help us so defensive advantage well we're gonna attack and we're not gonna defend so here we got our organizer supply duration yeah I'm gonna leave this guy and uh, as he will give us supplies also for 100% time and what about the supplies supplies limit is right in here where when your army is supplied they can fight actually and when once they're gonna lose all the supplies they, they will start to get some casualties through the attrition so how you can resupply your army actually if you're gonna mouse click on any of your you don't have actually mouse click. if you're gonna mouse over to any of your territories you're gonna see the information about the supply limit uh, unfortunately this tooltip is not freezing so I'm just gonna left mouse click you will see that supply limit is 2,990 soldiers which means that if your army is below this number it will means that will still that it, they will supply your army so in here I got the supply 2,990 so my army is just 1,000 which means that I will not lose any supplies while standing in this territory the same in here but if you're gonna go to any terrible I'm not sure if there anything oh yeah here we have only 1150 so if we're gonna have above this so if we're gonna have 1250 soldiers and we're gonna stand in this territory we're gonna start losing supply for our army all right so let's go and attack our enemy so we're gonna left mouse click to select our army you can also select army by clicking in here and then you're gonna right mouse click on city or tribe right now so as you can see they're gonna move and in here we got information that they are gonna go and get there in about 20 days so I'm gonna speed up by pressing plus alright so we are right in here I'm gonna pause so you will see that we have siege under progress so I'm gonna left mouse click on this small icon and we're gonna have information about the siege so the siege will take about maximum six months so it will gonna progress and as you can see this is the number of soldiers that are inside of this territory and if your army will be not big enough to cross this line they will not make and progress any siege and you can see the enemy army is coming in here I could actually recruit some mercenaries right in here but unfortunately they cost 182 cash so if I will be able to do this I will recruit them to fight against those guys but right now I'm gonna leave this they probably gonna go for my Stanjitsa so I'm just gonna speed up and zoom out a little bit and as you can see we won the siege we got information right in here that the siege was won and we got three cash from this so this territory is right now striped so which means it's under our control and we can select our army and try to go in here and try to get those guys before they're gonna siege our fort so they have five months and we're gonna get in here in about two months so we're gonna be much faster than the siege will be over because it's in five months all right so we're gonna unpause this maybe they're gonna try to even run away as you can see they are running away so we're gonna try to catch them and at the bottom right side in here you got the score against your enemy so if you're gonna left mouse click you're gonna see the situation so we are the attackers and we are attacking this territory and this is the defender they have zero allies and we have also zero allies we have 735 army in here he got 651 left and this is the basic score once you're gonna reach 100 you'll be able to enforce the demands if you're under attack you can just try to make sure that if you're gonna face enemy that is much stronger to you you can just wait until it's gonna have to 50 percent and then you can offer the white piece as you can see i can right now offer the white piece he will accept but it's not the deal for me because i want to conquer this territory so i need to make sure that i'm gonna have 
100% and then I can enforce my demands. So I will gain the fame, as you can see, I will get some additional prestige if I will have allies, so they will have also some bonuses and my enemy, he will lose 75. As you can see, we got 33% from war score. We ha can have some war score from the battles and here we got war score from held objectives because this was our objective and we are in the possession of this objective. And here we got also war score from prisoners. So capturing prisoners, getting territories occupied and also winning battles will give us score in the total. So right now we are trying to catch them. I'm gonna see if that's gonna be possible. Yeah, we are moving kind of fast because we are inside of our territory. And we're gonna move, yeah, we're gonna catch them. So now we have the battle in here. We're gonna left mouse click, we're gonna have information about the battle. And as you can see, the battle is inside the forest. And now our bowman's gonna have the additional bonuses from it. We have also Connie and he have light footprints. All right, so as you can see, we are winning. And we are actually crashing and we got information. Ooh, our soldier is wounded. That's not very good. But all, all in all, we got the win. Yes, we got the win. Our score get higher right now, as you can see. Plus 19 from the winning the battle. And now we're gonna change the direction and we're gonna go and try to occupy the, the closest city, which is right in here. So we're gonna go. And in the top, in here you got information about the victory and you can check the details in here. So our champions killed 72 and we have zero casualties and they lost one champion. So now they have only two from three. And as you can see our Cody also makes some 100 damage and only have six losses. So it was very good decision for us and our bowman 23 to 8 still very good unfortunately levies are the worst part of our army but this is how it is all right and once enemy army is defeated as you can see they are retreating to the hometown so they're gonna get back in here and they're gonna try to attack the, us once again so we're gonna need to make sure that we're gonna attack them once again, so they're gonna be just the minor part of this battle. So as you can see, now they are on the full strength. Now they're crossing the bridge and we're gonna probably try to attack this area. But we're gonna be first in here. So first probably we're gonna capture this area. Yeah, they are moving right in here. So they probably gonna try to get this back. So I'm gonna speed up to check what's gonna happen. Yeah, so they are sieging this area, but it will take six months for them. And here we got only two months left, so we are much faster in this area. And we're gonna be able to conquer this territory and then attack them straight away. And as you can see, there's some hostile army in here. So if we're gonna check if he has any allies, no, he does not have any allies. But this is probably riding, raiding army, so we're just gonna try to avoid them if we can. So yeah, they are retreating right now. So this is just hostile army of enemy <laughs> right in here. And yes, we got another siege one. And we have 100% one. So we could finish here. But I want to show you that maybe we're going to capture some enemy. So I'm going to try to also occupy this territory. And then maybe I will be able to capture someone. So we'll see where, what you can do with enemy prisoners. So here we're gonna have instant battle, yeah, right now. They have no champion left. <laughs> Perfect, and yes, that is true. So we got hostage right now. So now we got one combatant inside our territory as a hostage. So how are you gonna check this? You're gonna go right in here to your court. And here we got the prisoners. And this is very important tooltip about the prisoners. If you're gonna capture anybody, make sure that you're gonna make any action before you're gonna finish your battle your your war because if you're gonna enforce demands right now all the prisoners that are held by us are gonna be released without giving us anything so we're gonna go to the court 
and we're gonna see that we got this guy he's the chieftain of this territory so we can ransom him so we can get some cash from him we can even have some weak cook and if he's just a normal character from this territory we'll be able to recruit him and we can also execute him and this will give us dread it will we'll need to spend some faith but as i have a fair reason no one will think me a tyrant tyrant so this is very important interesting situation so i can ransom him for to get some eight cash just because he doesn't ha not have 50 which is the total amount of cash that sh he should pay for me so i'm gonna execute him so he will not bother me in the future so thanks to that i executed him and now i can finish the war so let's enforce the demands and thanks to that we have the victory and we have new leader in there so so be it so this is my new part of my territory i'm just gonna unpause so that it will update so yeah we got some enemy in here so i'm just gonna try to get rid of those nasty guys and as you can see we have now the fight against this guy so straight away we have the, the another war in here so here we got information that we have been being raided <laughs> by those guys so they are raiding our territory in here and here we have also information that he is fighting against us for Huyave so we need to defend ourselves from him enemy defensive advantage minus 50 so yeah, I'm gonna check this guy, maybe he wanna be much better in this fight, so we're gonna see. Okay, we catch him and now the battle starts. Unfortunately our counselor died in this battle, so this means that we lost the position in here, so I need to replace him with a new guy. So I'm gonna assign new guy. I'm just gonna close it. So yeah, as you can see, I have now. I can also increase control with him, so I could increase control any of this territory. As you can see, green is good, blue is okay, and the red territories will be bad. But we still want to train our soldiers. Okay, so we won this battle, but as you can see, our score is just 23, because even if we are defending, we need to make sure that we're gonna occupy his territory, so he will lose. So we're gonna go into the main base, so we're gonna try to conquer this. So as you can see, thanks to that, now I can finish this and enforce my demands. He will pay me 34, because he failed to attack me. And he will also spend 150 prestige and I will give some gain 150 all right so right now you see what you have to do when you're attacking and you when you are defending so once you're done you can disband your army they should be disband all in here but right now we are raided by enemies so that's why I have I should still fight but what else you can do with your army you can change it to raiding army so thanks to that you'll be able to raid some territories right in here what more you can split your army and this will be useful for you if you've got bigger army if i'm gonna split it it's gonna split into two different armies so as you can see we have 504 and 317 and again you can assign com commanders to every part of the splitted army so you can be even general of your own and to control this army you can left mouse click in here and then when it's gonna when the tooltip is gonna lock you can left mouse click on any of this so i'm gonna select this army and i'm just gonna move it right in here and then you got splitted army and second one will go for example in here because if you're gonna just left mouse click on this you will select whole army so everybody that is standing here and if you will just want to move somebody in here as you will see everybody is moving right now so to move separately your army you need to left mouse click to select specific army then change the direction and then you can select the second one or i'm just gonna pause them or you can choose the army from in here from this small tooltip which is much faster and then decide that you're going here and you're going here so thanks to that you can speed the decisions all right so i don't need this army anymore so i'm gonna disband 
and this means that they are gonna vanish. You can disband your army even if they are in enemy territory. So I disbanded my army and thanks to that now I have the repl replenishment for my whole army. And as you can see my total army has increased right now to 1275. So I have higher limit because I just conquered the new territory which is giving me 132 levies to my total of my army. And I am still in the holding limit. So this means that I can still handle the four territories that I have in here. And because I right now have 232 cash, I will show you also that I can recruit now mercenaries. So I, I can now recruit any of those armies. And if I'm going to recruit them, they're going to show up in the my city capital. So straight away, they're going to be in here and they're going to be under your command for three years. After that, they're going to be pop up info that you can extend the duration of the contract or they will just vanish in three months. And this is how it is. So you can check, click on any of them and get some information how good they are. You can left mouse click on them to see how what are the stats and what are the traits that they have. So thanks to that you will be able to choose the perfect one. As you can see this guy, even that he has 182, he has zero martial art. <laughs> he got 13 prowess, but he's stupid. <laughs> so it will be a really bad decision if you will actually recruit him so always check who you can recruit and what are the stats and traits as you can see he can now he can have some good roles in the battles and he gets some light horsemen as well and 419 levies and here we have also information how good quality of this army is so of course the best is this elite quality but also having high quality is also very good so for example these guys they have high quality so for me if i will have some need i will recruit this guy as he's really nice in the battle as you can see 19 18 really strong and he had good roles in the battles what more after the fight you will have the trust so you cannot attack this territory once again so i cannot make the declare war because it will break the trust and this will give me a lot of penalties so this is not worth it and if you're going to left mouse click on your commander, you'll see that we have the trust until 1874. So we're going to need to wait four years if we can to attack this territory once again. And here we got also information that we are right, being righted by those guys. And also, let's go back to our guy by those guys at the bottom here. So we're going to try to conquer this in the future. So next thing, I want to show you the last thing, how to call allies on the battles. So... I'm gonna search someone so right mouse clicking to select the country I have this guy in here he got his son and I have daughter right in here so I got daughter that I can actually sell for alliance so I can right mouse click and you'll see that I can arrange marriage go to the age and my Victoria is on age one so we're gonna accept this So he accepts this and let's check if So once you have allies you, to call them you can do things you can go right in here click on your allies and you will go straight away to them and then right mouse click and call to war otherwise they will not fight in the war so what more you can right mouse click on territory if you right mouse click and then call them to war later in the game if you want to go to decision you can found the holy order and once you're going to need to have kingdom of empire to create holy order and thanks to that you'll be able to also call the holy orders army so this is going to be the special army that can join you if you're going to fight against different different faith so thanks to that you will be able to get some additional armies under your commands so I think that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you have now much better understanding about the army and how to prepare yourself for the battles. So right now it's it. Boys and girls, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're gonna meet each other next time.
So boys and girls, have a wonderful day, and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.